There's no stopping time from slipping into the future. But that doesn't stop scientists from wondering how living things know when it's time to open up, shut down, grab a meal, or go to sleep. It's a fundamental adaptation that helps organisms uh, anticipate the daily light-dark cycle on the planet. How fundamental? Well, just hop on a long plane ride and learn how unfun it can be when you try to ignore your internal clock. With help from the National Science Foundation, geneticist Jonathan Arnold is studying the intricacies of this at the University of Georgia, using bread whose time is up. He uses the mold, the organism Neurospora crassa. Arnold studies it because it's easier to get a handle on something this complex by focusing on a relatively simple example. Because we can look at thousands of cell divisions over a seven day period, where in a mouse or some more complicated organism, it would be much harder. It turns out this simple organism still has 11,000 genes, and many of them are programmed to tell time. A quarter of the genome, about 2,400 genes, are actually have a circadian rhythm. That came to us as quite a surprise. Understanding this can do much more than help us find new ways to fight off jet lag. It turns out diseases listen to the clock as well. Strokes, sudden death from heart attacks, heart attacks themselves have a circadian rhythm. And some drugs, especially those that fight cancer, are more effective depending on when a patient takes them. With so many genes in play, sometimes it's difficult to know which clock actions to study. That's where Arnold's colleague, physicist Bernd Schutler, comes in. He uses statistical models to help unravel the clock's complex genetic network. You need to use the computer to analyze and transform the experimental data that are seen in the lab into something that tells you something about, you know, what is the system actually doing at the molecular level. First penicillin, now this. Without moldy bread, we might not understand what makes us tick. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.